right, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. Today we are going to be drawing a fox. This goes out to um, Ava in Pennsylvania. Ava, I hope you enjoy drawing the fox today. I want everyone to look at it closely, see what lines and shapes that you see. I see rainbows and points. I see trees. I see flowers. I see curved lines. I see all different kinds of lines. All right, if you're ready, get your stuff that you wanna draw with. I have a Sharpie and a piece of white paper, and let's get started. We're gonna start first with our fox that looks like he's running. So I'm going to do a nice size rainbow right here in the middle of my paper. And then after that, this is going to come down. It's gonna go right back up like a V, so down up good and we're going to put a little oval right here and color it in this is going to be his nose so from his nose we're going to go up and over to this corner so like up over almost like a rainbow same thing on this side so this is going to come up over to the corner good and we're going to have two little dots for his eyes we're gonna use triangles for his ears. So right here, we're gonna go up, down. Same thing over here, up, down. We're gonna put a little triangle in each ear. Up, down, and here, up, down. Good, okay. We're gonna make our fox look like he's running. <clears throat> so we're gonna do two little lines for his neck. So line down, line down. We're gonna go across for his back. So this will come straight across and stop. For the front of his legs, this is going to come down from his neck and come down and out a little bit. So it's like his leg is reaching outward. I'm not gonna draw the rest of it just yet. I'm trying to get like a basic guideline of where everything's gonna fit. So next we're gonna do his tail. So for his back, line across. And then we're gonna come up and in a little bit for his tail. We're gonna make the end pointy. It comes out a little bit and then back in. And then for the back legs, these are gonna come out this way. So from his tail, we're going to come out this way. Trying to keep them about the same distance, or the same length, I should say. Okay, now we're gonna do little line over, line up and stop. This way, the little line's gonna come this way towards me, and then it's gonna come up and stop. And then we're gonna stretch over here to connect the two for his belly. Okay. So now, a fox has four legs usually, so we're gonna have to put in two more legs. These legs are behind these legs, so we don't really see them where they start from. So what I'm gonna do is come here on the back side, line out, straight line out, little line over, and line up. So they're like rectangles. Same thing for over here. I'm gonna start in the front, line out, Little line over, line up. And there you have it. You have your fox running. We're gonna put some zigzag up, down, up, down, up, down on his tail. That makes him look more like a fox. And then in here, we're just gonna do these little dashes. You can color him later. Color him orange, yellow, red, Whatever color you want, purple. You have a purple fox if you wanted a purple fox, sure. Go ahead. Okay, there is our fox, boys and girls. <laughs> now, I am going to put a ground line in here. Um, so I'm gonna come across, and I'm gonna urge stop when I get to my fox, and I'm gonna jump over to the other side. Now, on my original picture, I had a tree over here, but I have more space over here. So I think I'm gonna put my tree over here today. So I'm going to 
touch the ground line, come up, and I'm gonna have a branch that reaches out here. So curves up and out. And I don't really see the other side of this tree, so I'm just gonna draw a, starting at the top, I'm gonna do a line in. You don't really see the top of it either, right? So this line's gonna come down on a diagonal, just like this, and then I'm gonna do a V here, okay? And then I'm going to do another line from here in. I'm gonna bring it way down here. So this is gonna follow this line down and stop, because now it's gonna connect out here with this branch. So now I'm gonna to touch here, follow this, closer, 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 touch, and there you have it. Okay, at the end of my branch, I'm going to put a leaf, so curve, curve like a U, little line in the middle. I'm gonna do it again over here. Curve out like a rainbow, make it pointy, back in like a U. I'm gonna do that a couple times, out, make it pointy and a line in the middle okay and i'm just going to put some little lines like that on the end of my stick and i'm going to put some lines over here i'm going to make this tree have berries so it's like the cherry trees that haven't really bloomed yet so i'm going to put little circles on the ends of those lines so line out and boys and girls, you can make your tree any way that you want. You can have lots of leaves. You can have no leaves. You can have flowers on it. You can have apples on it. It's really up to you. All right, so I'm just doing this. You work at your pace. I'll work at mine. Line out. Make your tree however you want to. When you're ready, you can come back and draw with me. All right, so... I think I'm going to leave mine kind of basic like that. I'm gonna leave a little room in here to make a bird. So my bird's gonna be very basic. If you're ready, you can draw a bird with me. Um, actually, you know what? I think I'll put my bird out here. I think that'll, I like him out here. So I'm going to just come up and around like a rainbow. And then this is going to come down. And he's gonna have a wrap around belly so it's down like a J almost. I'm gonna stop there. I'm gonna put a rainbow inside here for his wing. Bring this line down and then take this side of the rainbow and join it down there, okay? He has two little legs. He's standing on this tree branch. Gonna give him some feet. Put a little shape right there. Maybe he's a robin triangle for his beak out in little dot for his eye and let's give him some feathers so it's like rainbows at the top and there you have it boys and girls there is a nice little bird okay um it is really up to you again what you want to put in your picture i'm going to put some mountains back here Urch. i'm going to stop when i get to my other objects because they're not see-through. Maybe I want to put some flowers down here. So I'm going to use a U. Rainbow, rainbow, rainbow. Little line over, line down. I think I'm going to go rainbow, 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 almost like a cloud for this one. And let's give it some little dots in the center. There. Okay, so there's its stem. And our leaves out, make it pointy, come back in, up, make it pointy, come back in, and then just give it some grass beside it, just like that. All right, I think I'll put a sun in my sky. I have some dashes. Maybe I'll make a two flying birds, so down, up down up maybe they're friends and they're gonna come say hi um and i think i'm just gonna leave it like that ladies and gentlemen you make it however you want to add some more details if you'd like um please be creative add color however you wish i hope you had fun today drawing the fox and the bird and the trees and the flowers 
and I hope you come back and join me another day. All right, bye.